Welcome to my 205 CD website presentation. When creating a web server, you have to join a repository and you also have to fork a repository from a website such as Git. Then you have to customize the repository such as renaming, renaming it to one that is more suitable to your project. Next of all, you have to create a project in Codeio using the SSH code from the GitLab um, that you have forked. Next of all, you have to link the Google App Engine SDK for Python with your Codeio account, and this is done by installing the Google App Engine using parts install Google App Engine into the command line on Codeio. All apps on the Google App Engine have to have a unique identifier, and therefore, using the uh, Google App Engine dashboard, the next thing is to re is to create a, a unique application identifier, to, so uh, and so that uh, your app is identified correctly. The final command is to push your updated code your files to GitLab using the code git status, git add, git commit and in and the unique name identifier and git push origin master. To ensure that um, your code is not accessible by anyone, on Codeo there is, there is a security measure called Select the Visibility. Uh, this gives the option of users to choose whether, their code, what, whether they want their code to be accessible by all the other coders or whether they want it to, to be private and, and only accessible by the administrator themselves. Within my website I've created a registering login page to ensure that um, all users ha that register have their own um, account within my website. This has been done by using a Python form um, that's, uh, that also has imposed validation of data to ensure that all um, data that is entered ha and that is required has to be has been entered. HTTPS is a type of security enabled on GitLab. This gives you either read only or read and write access to all repositories on GitLab. This HTTPS are a good uh, type of security to use because they will give you access no matter if you're using a firewall or a proxy. SSH is a secure protocol uh, which is used on GitLab. You must have an SSH key pair uh, generator on your computer and it must be attached to your GitLab account. Um, the SSH is good because it enables you to test websites and apps locally. Accessing and displaying data in a web page. Accessing and displaying data in a web page is one of the most important uh, sections as this helps gain content to the web page. First of all, um, I would suggest creating a new application in Google App Engine and displaying it to the Google servers using uh, your Gmail account and password. Once you press the browse button, it will print hello world and an exclamation mark um, just in the top left hand corner. This is due to the, uh, in the main.py file, uh, print, uh, hello world has been imported into the handler and um, on the um, and on the uh, app.yaml file all the re all the relevant application handlers are directing it to the directing direct into the main.py also on the uh, in the app.yaml the application handler at the top has been ch has been changed to your application name such as app engine or another one that is relevant to your project data store design on screen now are some headings that I've taken from my Google App Engine data store. Data store design is very important to enable the, uh, data, uh, the relevant data collection by, by companies or organisations. On screen, I have uh, I've chosen to, um, to collect a, a user's name from the uh, from the system to ensure that um, I know who uh, I'm dealing with. I've also uh, cho chosen to use the date of birth uh, date of birth field so I can uh, gather um, the age about the uh, the user or the client. I've also opted to create an ID. Uh, this ID is unique to the user themselves, so they can be easily identified. And also, I've, um, I've decided to, um, to use the Google ID uh, as a login stage. However, um, the client displayed uh, has not got a, a Google ID uh, to log in. CRUD and NoSQL. First of all, I imported Web App 2 under the class main, main handler and, the, uh, and I called the function def get self and I created a, a basic feedback form in which users could enter feedback about, about my website. Over time, I introduced the def post self uh, function and the import login. Um, so all the inputs through the, through the feedback form will be then logged in the Google uh, login button in the SDK. I also introduced the, uh, the import google.appin.api import mail um, function to uh, enable email sending from the, from the um, my um, feedback button so any um, data entered would be then forwarded via email to myself. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I developed the code to create a login portal um, that user could log in to the email with using their email to access my feedback form. Again, this is another form of security. Inputting data from a web page to the store. 
the, d the data store is only available if your application is deployed on the Google App Engine. So first of all, I would suggest deploying the, app the application to Google, so therefore you gain access to the data store. First step was to change the application to the, um, to the unique application identifier previously created. To create a multi-page application, I would create a new handler and, uh, um, in the app.yaml file called uh, page2.app and also I would create a main uh, page2.py file in which this would display uh, using the self-response write uh, function, this is page2. Using the import ginger function, I imported the ginger template as this is a modern, modern and designer-friendly templating language that is fast and widely used but most importantly it is secure and it enabled me to create an extra um, an extra multi-page application within my website. The last step again was to create another uh, handler in the app.yaml file called players.app and in this stage I would uh, use I would import web app 2 and also uh, from the Google app in your API import users and NDB. Finally I would import date and time. For this as, um, as soon as uh, people um, someone navigates onto the, uh, the players page um, and the, a, a submit button would appear where they have to click on the record, click on the button to uh, show records from football players that are uh, held within the store. Uh, once the button is pressed, the, all the data, all the names of players will be displayed below, and all and the data of the players of the players will be captured in the data store. Thanks for watching.